Okay, so today we are loading some Portrait 160 120 size into this Hasselblad 503 503 CW, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so what I've got going on here, I've got a Hasselblad, I've got my Ultra 160 in. We've got a scene where the light is always changing, the clouds are coming over quite a lot. And we've got um, a very highlighted situation where it's three o'clock, the sun's very bright, so I'm trying to compensate for dark, dark shadows over there. And bright shadows, quite, you know, garish on the face. No smiling. No smiling. Oh, it's gone dark in there. Three, two, one. Great, next shot. And we've got our next setup here. A nice scenario, we've got a bit of space. And we've got really nice, we've got a cloud here at the moment. So I've got about one minute left before I need to uh, take this picture, otherwise the sun's gonna come out. I've got nice muted light. I've got F2.8 for that nice shallow depth of field. And I've got 500 of a second, so there's no shake. I'm handheld on ISO 160, so let's see how this turns out. Really nice. Ready? Smile. No smile. Ready? Three, two, one. Got a bit of a challenge here. It's ISO 160, so it's very slow speed film. Um, quite shaded, although it's quite a bright day, it's quite shaded. So I'm going to have to. I can't bother to get the tripod out. I'm just gonna do it, do 1 25th of a second. I've done my light meter on there, which I have no idea. Have you got your light meter on your phone? <laughs> We've got the lovely Kareem here as our guest model. F28, nice and open, the aperture nice, wide and open. 60th of a second handheld, so I'm gonna be very still whilst doing this. So shot number six, nice muted light. We've got some sun creeping out. Um, so nice trees, nice green environment. We've got a bit of construction in the background. Yeah, get an F2.8, get that nice shallow depth of field and do it on 500th of a second as well. Okay, so I have this really interesting setting. I have a duck just here, just over there. I'm trying to get the duck in. It's about 8.30 at night. Um, light's really nice. It's golden tonight. It's May 8th, a few days after, uh, from before. I've got a few shots left. I've got four, I've got nine, I've got 10, 11, 12. I've got three shots left. Okay, so hopefully I'll be able to get this duck. So, let's see. Oh. Okay, so the duck just moved, I think, because I just moved. So, uh, nonetheless, we're gonna try something interesting. So the light meter reading is telling me about F28, which is as wide as this aperture goes, and then I've got, um, it's telling me 250th of a second. So I'm gonna try and overexpose by two F-stops, which means 
sixtieth of a second, but I don't really don't want any, um, you know, what you call camera shake. So I'm just gonna do a one, two, five, and see what I can do with that. Okay, so I trusted myself on that one, and I changed it to sixtieth um, of a second just because I've done it before, and I used to do it at uni a lot. Just you know, make sure that was really still, so hopefully that one comes out okay. Okay, so I have a really cool setup here. Um, it's getting too dark now for me to handhold it, but thankfully I have this trusty wall that I can put the Hasselblad on for me to um, do. It's actually telling me 15th of a second, so that's too much for me to hold. It's going to be too blurry, um, you know, with an uh, ISO of 160 which is too low for me to um, do this handheld. So I've got this nice tree and um, hopefully I'm gonna focus it and hopefully it's gonna come out all right. Now I'm just waiting for the people to go by. I just thought I am exposed, I am overexposing this by two stops. So it's telling me 15th of a second, but I'm gonna put it to a fourth of a second because Kodak Portra, I've been told, um, uh, has very good results um, when you overexpose it. it, has sort of a dreamy low contrast effect. So, um, before anyone else comes, I'm going to put it at one fourth of a second. Um, it's going to be f28. So, uh, here goes. Okay, so we have this cool little setup here. Looking through the viewfinder of the Hasselblad looks really cool. It's this sort of shiny container thing side of this sort of pale you know salmon color side of this building so um, I'm just doing my light meter reading now I don't want to do any more shots of any you know low ground area because it's very dark and I can't find a lot of spaces where I can or places I can put my the Hasselblad on for it to be still because I don't have a second tripod I've only got the first tripod for this camera so I'm going to aim to do um, I've got this little pillar here that um, is actually pointed upwards towards it and I've put it on top of the tripod bag pointing just about where I want it so I think I'm going to put the lens cap under it just to adjust the, the level and the, the way that it's going to sit um, so I'm doing a light meter, uh, light meter reading now and I'm doing a light meter reading in the sort of shadows to midtones because um, again I want to try and overexpose the film I want these dark shadow bits here. There's a lot of detail in there. So I want to try and pick that up through when it gets scanned. Um, so again, I'm going to overexpose it by two stops. It's telling me um, F28 at 20th of a second. So two above 20th is, so I'm going to surround it up to 15th. So two above 15th is a fourth. So a fourth of a second again. Um, again, it's got a bit darker, but I have got some of the sky in here. So um, focus it up and see how it comes up. So in that shot, I tried. To, I trusted my steady hand. I noticed it had got a little bit darker from first doing the light meter about three minutes prior to now taking the shot. So I just guesstimated another stop. So I actually did it half a second. Um, and I kept it really still. Um, so hopefully that's not blurry. I really want it to be crystal clear. I think I've got no no more shots, so that's it, we're done. Hopefully when they come out, they will come out fantastic. Okay, so I am back from my walk swan the other day with the girls, and tonight, just come back, I'm gonna unload this film. I always think I forget how to do this. There we go, done. Cool. Ah, gross. Yeah. Scissors. Okay, so it's, it's actually really dark right now. 
Um, just wanted to say a big thanks for watching. Hope you like these videos. Me talking about cameras and stuff is the only residual lie I've actually got. Um, <laughs> from the Bonington building in Nottingham. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you.